stops by three rounds. That's insane! Three round difference between you actually moving on from the groups and you getting into the playoffs. And that's that's a painful situation. You do not want to lose because of that. Or, or like Cloud9 at DSWC where I think it was something so... It was like two rounds that separated them from a playoff spot. Like that's... that's You can't not allow that basically as a top contender. You need yeah. to be able to just lock these maps out and get those rounds on the board. So now we're into the knife round. We will be starting off on Inferno. And both of these teams, it's not going to be set right off the bat. It will be knife to decide who gets to start on which side. Yeah, and if you look somewhere, we've got the GTA like one top-down view here. Oh, yeah. You okay. have to imagine that you know there are cars you can explode and stuff like that. But it's definitely like a similar feel, isn't it? Just need like someone with a bazooka or a machine gun to to run around like that. Markov will end up uh, stabbing three people in the life round, and that is going to be it. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. Here, this is the ESL ESCA Pro League, and we've got Flipside playing against Fnatic. Best of one game on Inferno. And it's going to be flip side starting on the CT side, which mm -hmm. is uh, generally the favored side. But we have seen a bunch of teams recently come up with some pretty ridiculous T rounds as well. So I wouldn't, wouldn't read too much into it. Yeah, and let's see what they decide to go for here on their, on their CT side. Two of them haven't bought yet. Cyber Focus and Blade. Blade goes for Kevlar. What's Cyber Focus going to get in Kevlar as well? Okay, we've got a brute, uh, brute force uh, approach here on both teams, actually, because there's four Kevlar bi uh, picked up for Fnatic. Just a couple of nades and smokes, and the smoke goes straight into mid right off the bat, so they aren't even saving that for, like, a B, a B attempt or anything like that. Fnatic wants to get the pressure in mid fast, but Flipside have the same idea. They push two guys, a third to support, right down mid, right from the start. Oh, wow. Actually, Blade, I think there was some team damage going into him. Flush out the trap in the corner. Should be going down, but it's taken a long time. They finally managed to drop him. And now up in the apartments, Bondic. Can he hold on here? Because otherwise, they might slip out and into the A-bomb side. If Bondic goes down, there's a free passage for Fnatic to move on. And if not, maybe they could be contained. In the meantime, a bit of a fight going on. Cyber Focus goes down to Crims. And World well, Edit now has to be careful. I think this is going to come down to Bondic. I agree. And they, they aren't even checking. They, they are watching their backs. But there it is. Pronax gets picked, and that's going to be Crims as well. Crims was looking towards bedroom, but then Pronax stepped right in front of him as the shots begin to come in, and he's not able to pick off Bondic. So it's going to be JW, last man alive here, caught in a bit of a corner as well with that bomb waiting for him in the hallway. Not many options for him here. So long as he can't remove Bondic from that angle, it's going to be real tough for him to get any kind of momentum going back into this round because look at this. I mean, the bomb is there. He's running out of time, and everybody's rotated over from flip side. Wow, I mean... What can you really do about this? Now they're just kind of trapped in here and um, trying to see for he's trying to see if he can get his way out. Bondic goes down though. Nice opening from JW. Still got 22 seconds. He's going to pick up the bomb and try and make his escape. I think he spotted out Blade who should be going down as well here. One bullet will do it. But JW doesn't have the time to play this game right now. He's got 10 seconds and has to make his way in. Blade still alive here. Eight seconds and... Oh, JW is going to be out of time entirely. We'll drop to Blade then. Nice attempt there. I mean, if you could have blade, picked off Blade the first time around, that would have been a real round for him. But um, doesn't quite happen. And Flipside is going to pick up the first round. And that was like... That's why I'm, I'm like... I like that aggro mid play, but to me it's always so scary because it feels like there's so many things that could go wrong. If you don't get that high impact right off the bat, if you don't get two kills, just clash in mid and get those two kills early on. You have a chance of getting wrapped around on uh, through uh, second mid. Markolov was standing there watching for Flipside to make sure that if Fnatic were coming through second mid, they wouldn't get caught off guard. But it still feels so tricky. It feels like such a... Like there's so many moving parts in that kind of play that could go wrong and that could cost you the round. So the fact that Flipside, they do get a bit of a lucky break with Bondic and a successful lurk up in the bedroom. They manage to shut out JW. That's, that's the kind of start that they need. You can kind of like wipe the sweat off of their brow right there. Yeah, just a little bit, right? And now they have to deal with the one scout here on JW, which I think they've already heard. So you can tell they're playing a lot more defensively now they know the scout is out. And there's four, t oh, three take nine, sorry, and one C set 75 on Flusher. This is what Fnatic is well known for. This is part of their strength, having to, uh, having to, uh, just being so good with these pistols, basically. Especially Olaf Meister with this Tech 9, right? Right. He's kind of like the hero, basically. He's the man who gets in and who's just famous for basically wrecking people at Katowice with the Olaf, with the, uh, with the Olaf Meister, with the, with the Tech 9, right? So. Tech 9 Meister. Uh, we expect big things from him, and he's going to be the first man through, so it could be a bit of a tricky pot, spot for him. He does have his teammates rushing up short, however, there's a man alive on balcony. He gets picked off. Crims does spot him out, and there you go. Olaf Meister, Pronax, everybody getting a piece of the action here on the A site, and Fnatic just completely collapse in here so quickly that flip side, they don't have time to adjust. Flush up waiting for Markle off in the rotate. And everything has gone right for Fnatic in this second round. Yeah, I mean, there's not much else to say, really. This is what their experts are doing. 
And World Edit is going to have to simply run away as much as he can, but he can't even really make his escape. He has Flushes waiting for him, and this M4 is going to go to waste as well. He's going to pick up one, but goes down to Pronax. So they win the round. They steal a FAMAS, an M4, and one MP7 in flip side. I'm guessing are probably going to force up in return. They probably don't want to give up so easily. So yeah, they do, which is, that is the most common thing by now, really. That's what everyone does these days. Yeah, they don't even, yeah, they don't even, they don't even hesitate. It's the straight thing. I mean, now... It is, you always have a chance with the, how the game, the current meta is being played out in the game and how powerful the pistols, the SMGs are, uh, you always have a chance of having an impact in a round. So it's, now it's almost always worthwhile to spend the money because you'll probably get a return on that investment. Yeah. If they can pick off one of these guys, I mean, all of Meister Crims, they basically make them drop these guns, drop that gear, or just manage to get a successful lurk off. Again, if Bombit could get lucky, you know, these sorts of things can actually work out really well for flip side. So they are still a threat in this round. They've got the five sevens. They've got a single C-set on Markolov, and Markolov, they're on to you, buddy. You throw that smoke down, and they're going to get you. Crims through the smoke. Does not let Markolov go for that uh, that tricky one-way smoke play. I like the fact that they were just firing a little bit further in. Yeah, you could tell Markolov wanted to get in there, and Fnatic knew all about it. Yeah. Olaf Meister will barely survive, but he does get the kill. Then Blade goes down and out. It's on Bondig and Cyberfocus. And they are in some pretty awkward positions here. Although Pronax will go down, so Bondig will at least get that kill through. And JW playing at the edge of the smoke will follow up from the scout shot on Cyberfocus and take him out, which means Bondig is now going to be all alone here. And a 1v4. Nice headshot, though. That Tech 9 still so lethal. He's going to steal a scout and run away. I mean, if he can make his way out, he's got like three grenades, armor, and there's a shot on Olaf Meister through the wall. He's making this expensive for Fnatic. He nearly gets that one as well. Flush it down to 9 HP. He gets the tag, but Flush it will overwhelm him and save that well, that all-important scout, I guess. I mean, it's, it could be pretty valuable here in the next round to come. Unfortunately, for, Fips, for flip side, they aren't really going to be able to, to pick up the round. They will deal some decent damage. They get three kills in that situation, so they're going to make Fnatic spend more money on Kevlar, on nades, etc., re-equipping themselves in this round. But they're also going to be in a hard eco situation, so it isn't really panning out too well here for flip side at the beginning of Inferno, especially on their CT side when they're considered... To, th right now, they are on the favored side of this map, and so far... It's a real rough start. Bondic, he's going to make it look like the one way again. Yeah, they're going to be putting a couple of shots through this time as well, just to test it out there. Yes, I mean, not the best start. You win the pistol, but you lose the following two rounds, and you happen to be playing what is still probably the best team in the world at playing Inferno when they're really up and running here. And a nice lineup here, though. Cypher focus with a lot of potential. But he doesn't manage to close out the double kill. Then he only gets the one. They do a lot of damage to Fnatic. I mean, Crimson JW all got down. And Pronax very nearly died. It's a comfortable little lean there. Just relaxing there. Taking a taking a slump. Uh, actually, that did look pretty comfy, yeah. didn't it? I mean, it's not a bench like this one, obviously. We've gone through the benches on Inferno once before. But, mm -hmm. I mean, as a sort of improvised bench, it'll work all right, I, I think. I think that would be a fabulous bench for a hot day. Because yeah. Because you can just, you know, trail your hand in the water. Let the fish nibble at it. Yeah. So that sounds like a really relaxing... Yeah, you've got like one hand in the water. If you brought some beer, you can actually put it in there and it'll keep cold like that. Mm -hmm. Man, that is relaxing. Some beer. See, dude, Europeans, they should be saying wine, but we spent too much time together, Anders. You know what I want. Yeah, in Sweden as well, and in you know, Denmark as well, you know, it's the beer still still reigns supreme. Now, Cypher Focus is covering over from the ninja corner, and. Um, Fnatic do have two Molotovs, so he's got to be a little bit careful he doesn't get trapped in, but he's playing it very loosely, so he could actually pretty easily make it out. Though Olaf Meister and Flusher will open up with some really good kills, making life really hard for Flipside now, and they have to win this round. If they lose now, it's going to be horrendous. There's Pronax going down, so a chance for a retake. Oh, it's not going to be easy. Blade looking for an opening. Cyber Focus goes down, and JW to drop Blade, meaning World Edit. Now going to be alone. Yeah, and World Edit basically all by his lonesome over on that B site. He's still got his M4. He's shooting the fish out of frustration. But yeah. those fish, man, they're like the chickens. They have no soul. You can't stop them. You can you actually, actually kill yeah, two of them. You can shoot fish. You monster! You can shoot fish. World Edit, how dare you? And you know what? I mean, people don't know this, the, the backstory, the lore here. But it's actually, I mean, it is all about protecting the fish in this bomb site. That's why the CTs are here. You think they're blowing up these barrels with the with the chemistry in them and stuff like that. But it's not. It's the fish. Oh, man, those fish. It's like... World winning, world what championship winning boy? That goldfish, they're literally made from gold, Samla. <laughs> <laughs> world edit is gonna be falling back here. It's still trapped in the round, it's not done yet. And Olaf Meister is gonna steal it with a triple kill. So there it is. So I was a millionaire growing up, and I had no idea. Yeah, I mean, why do you think they call them goldfish? <laughs> I don't know if these are really like that. They look kind of goldfishy. 
Let's see. Uh, they actually freak me out a bit. Like they don't they don't look natural, do well, they? They don't really respect physics either, do they? They're just like kind of like oh. side to side. I don't know. It's just really weird. And then apparently, if you throw a Molotov, it cooks them. It roasts them. Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't eat those fish. They do, They don't look natural. Chickens, though, I would eat, but not after they've been blown up with a with an HU grenade. I feel like that's too much. In the middle, Blade is going to go down. This is just a pistol round or a sort of an eco round coming out of flip side. Nothing much to it, really. Markov trying to play close, which is not a bad idea. I mean, sometimes you could stay alive just by being that close, but not going to be this time around. Bondic will go down, and Markov almost... Yeah, the fire is going to spread, and he survives oh, on wow. two health. Wow. He got lucky there. That was way too close. Now smoke goes down. Basically, this is just fanatic. Brutalizing flip side. Flip side cyber at least has shown that he's lethal with his P2000 up close and mid. And he could potentially, if he could land on Olafmeister, this would be good. But he comes out of the smoke and he's not able to readjust his aim in time. Olafmeister will catch him first, and that is going to be a fifth round on the board here for Fnatic. Not a whole lot that Markov can do. I mean, he's going on a backstab mission here with two HP, but he gives away his position, <laughs> and that's just horrible. Now, Pro Max, everybody's going to close their eyes. What I enjoyed the most about that is the fact that Markov kept shooting. Like, you know, like the first shot was like, I hope I can pre-fire him. Like, he's, he walked out once. When he walks out again, I'll shoot him. Then the next cover shots were like, I guess not. But I'll just, I've given up at this point. I can't be bothered. Oh, no. Poor Markov. Well, flip side have actually changed it up and gone for a double up setup. And we've seen them do this before between Cyber Focus and World Edit. And it actually worked quite well. Like, last time they played, it definitely worked. But they're also against JW. And they, they need to take him out quick. Oh, Cyber Focus. He gets... He runs into the grenade. That's the grenade collision actually stopping him. And World Edit dies over at Banana. This is a disaster. Yeah, you already have Blade rotating over on Speedway, but there goes the aggressive Molotov. It's going to force Markov out into the open. Flusha peeks behind it. This is working basically textbook right now. Blade does manage to take out Flusha, who got a little bit ahead of himself. Pop Flash there attempt as well to slow things down, and it does just that. But with this smoke down, now Fnatic decide not to press this. Although, JW, what is this? JW finds him into the smoke. He goes. I don't even... Oh, finally goes down. Bondig up here. Should be a free kill on Crims, but somehow actually... Ends up taking a little bit of damage for it. Then Cyber Focus now heading on over into construction. Try and see if he can find an opening. It is a 2v2. The bomb is just going to go down now. But Olaf Meister in the back line with 10 health. I mean, Olaf's already had like a sick game. He's got 11 0 and 2. He's only died twice in the first seven rounds here. Bondic all the way in the back lines. But he smoked off. One grenade back here would do wonders on Olaf Meister, though. In fact, do it, Bondic. No, he's gonna fall too far back. He even had a grenade out. He Either be able way, to find Cyber Focus's AWP, shouldn't he? Uh, no, it's all the way oh, back it's here. All the way, yeah, yeah, that's right. It died over here. Yeah, that's right. So this is uh, this is uh, a little bit of a problem right now for Flipside. It's not. It's not got a skin either, though. I mean, how valuable could it be? Do you really want to give your life for it? I I had a I had a dream once that we could have a like a matchmaking mode mm -hmm. where the skins you have if you lose to the enemy team you lose that like they get your skins it's like a you know play oh, for that's skins hardcore. that would be so hardcore wouldn't that it? would be that would be amazing actually i mean then you run into like some spin bottle and you're like i yeah. i can't do this you know but <laughs> if there was a reliable way of doing that how yeah. sick would that be yes please man that would be uh i mean i would cry a lot i already <laughs> i already cry a lot in matchmaking but that, that would make me that would make me really explode. Yeah, then JW shows up. This is how he actually gets his skins. Now I understand. Now I see. Now I see. It's not about money matches in CS. Not like the, not like in the fighting game community. Here it's all about skins. I, c I can see some downsides to it. I could see how it might cause a bit of a rift in the community. Bondic has to come up big here, and Flashbang not going to catch him. Bondic with a great triple. What a spray down. Pronax, Olofmeister, and Crims all gone. Beautiful control here from Bondic, but is it going to be enough? His teammates need to step it up as well. JW gets a sick double kill, and that's going to bring it back in favor of Fnatic. What a steal. Bondic did so much, and then his teammates, they just couldn't follow up on it here. Markolov going to get flashed as well. Turns around, flushes there. Fnatic, they just cannot be stopped. It doesn't matter if you kill three. The other two will wreck your team. Like, Bondic, I know. I can see it in the chat right now. Bondic, <laughs> dude, he got on there. He actually did the damage, and he's leading right now by a fair margin for, for, for Flipside as well. Nine frags for him. Runner-up on his team is three frags. That's Blade. So, I mean, he's doing work, but... The setup was cool from Fnatic, though. I mean, they have three... 
three people right there up in the apartments and then one guy tossing a flashbang all the way over here that's actually meant to sort of flash bonding except the the roof is actually going to keep him covered but the idea is still there for Fnatic. super nice idea if Bondic had got flashed, I mean, that round would have already been home, so uh, it's still a good idea. Speaking of Bondic, it's going to be doing a little bit of damage. Blade to pick up the kill there. Headshot on Olaf Meister, and it's just pistol, so a good start either way here for Flipside. I'm curious to see what uh, they can actually do from here. I mean, as far as Fnatic are concerned, they're just going to slow play this. They are gathering up once again at top the mana. They've had a lot of success on this bomb site. Well, they've had success whichever bomb site they decide to go to, really. That's kind of the story of this half. But B side, they have had. Uh, better than average luck at getting the entry frag and so that's what they're trying to build off of right now hoping that somebody's going to try and peek early they have a molotov that's going to be on pronax he could set it up to clear out early angle early angle what is he going to do though they're just going to pretend on they because the bomb is walking back so they're actually yeah. walking into three people here markolov and world dead it probably made a call but you can tell that no one is really rotating so they're not quite buying it yet but with that kill coming in, they will start to buy and Blade with a huge pick off there on Crims. Takes the AK and runs away. And now Fnatic only have two members left. Pronex winning that fight against Bondic. But yeah, they're both fairly low on health here. Pronex still alive. Trying to take a fight with Blade, but he's now almost running out of time as well. 15 seconds. Bomb is going to be attempted once. And Blade almost buys it. But not quite. And there's the win. So great job there on Blade. Triple kill. Two of them with pistols, and I think one of them with the AK at the end here. Really doing a lot. And, oh, <laughs> We'll be right back, guys. Don't worry. I hope that doesn't uh, show on your screen, no, but it shouldn't. Doesn't. So, 7-2. to two, And we are moving into the 10th round. So, a big win in that round for Flipside. That was an eco round win. Yeah, and an eco round win. Definitely good job, but also a little bit scary. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's, uh... I mean, it was still way too close. I mean, it's still getting down into a two-on-two -two situation. They just barely win that out from that position. It is, uh, I mean, it was a fine fight there by Flipside, but now Fnatic are going to start ramping it up. They can't keep the pressure on. Cyberfocus will hit his shot on Flusher. That's top banana. So we're into a four-on-four -four now. Fnatic going for the nades again. The aggressive Molotovs up the top banana to try and get control of that position. But instead, it is going to be apartments. Olafmeister already lurking his way through here, trying to get eyes on Balcony, seeing if he can't pick somebody up on short. Bondic holding close on Balcony, however. So there's the smoke. And now Fnatic kind of have to worry about a different way in here to the site. Yeah. And it wasn't pawn that popped up, guys. It was it was just like a win to Windows pop-up. So, <laughs> so don't worry about it. It was the other thing. I mean, we wouldn't, we wouldn't try and keep you from that. You know, we'll... We'd show it if we had it. Cyber focus, waiting right at the edge. Gonna be taking down Olofmeister and won't get the second shot then. Blade gonna come through and try and follow up and he challenges the next two people. So now they're actually in the 2v2 again and Bondic has to come up big here. He's waiting for it. They're gonna smoke out, flash out once Bondic. He could probably look over the smoke quite a fair bit here. So if they try and run into the site, he might be able to catch a glimpse of them. And let's see. Got the AK out. Pronax actually does make it past Bondic. There he is trying to look over the smoke. JW will go down, so now it's all on Pronax to try and clutch it here. Great headshot on Markolov who came jumping in. Oh no! And now Bondic in the pit. He's gonna get the kill as well. Great job. Very nearly went down. But he's gonna have to time, even with the Molotov, to get this defuse. So, double kill and the clutch at the end here. So... Three to seven. Such a close situation though there by Bondic, basically. He was the hero of that round. The fact that he didn't try and force things when that smoke went down on balcony, he decided to play it safe, let them get the bomb plant, but also allow for his team at Markov to rotate in. The fact that he didn't give away his position and got that free kill on the man trying to go into pit, that was crucial. That pretty much won them the round at that point. Because even if Markov dies, then they know exactly where Pronax is and it comes down to Bondic. If Bondic loses that situation, then that's a huge mistake by Bondic, really. So the mm. fact that he keeps cool and actually manages to pull that win off, that's that's the kind of round that Flipside need to be picking up more often here. And I kept wow, that was that's a slow uh, that's a pretty slow smoke. Yeah, it takes such a long time to land that I don't feel it's gonna stop very many people, but um Fnatic are on the other side. They've set fire to that tree in the corner as well, and now they're trying to do the boost up. Markolov, does he not see this? It's literally right in front of him. The smoke must somehow be higher than it is on our screen, because otherwise he would definitely be able to see this. So what Markolov is seeing, I can absolutely, I can guarantee you, is not what we're seeing. Um, even though Markolov has not had the best game, he's definitely a better better player than that. So um, I, don't, I think there was, uh, there was some smoke covering Markolov then. Blade walking close, goes down. JW saw that coming as well, even though usually you'd be looking a lot further back. You'd be looking up here, so um, that's impressive. And now World Edit trying to move into cover here, but they've already lost two entry frags to the Fnatic team. 
This is way out of control for Flip Side. Yeah, this is not pretty right now. JW is just having his way with them. World Edit loses his peak battle over on Banana. That gives Banana to uh, Fnatic, but then they get Bondic as well over in A Apartment. So they can pretty much go wherever they want at this point, Fnatic. They only know that they know that Cyber Focus is now the last man alive. So they decide to actually take this this fight on A, and now they know. But with 25 seconds left, they don't actually have time to go to B. Oh, this is going to be insanely close. You can't really, I mean... This is going to be crazy close, Pronax. You have to run your buns off. 14 seconds. Oh, they kill him in the end. But yeah. still, like for the plant, look at that. He would have I mean, just made it with two seconds to spare. Yeah, like if you're right here and you just take this run, this is with your knife out running all the way. It's like 14, 16 seconds time to run that distance. So if you've got 20 seconds when you start to make the run, you will literally have four seconds to plan. That's it. If you bump in, into anything, if you, you know, second guess yourself even once, that's it. It's going to be all over. So um, that was a bit of a risky play, actually. But they got the kill anyway. And uh, it's going to be 8-3 now. Flip side. Back on pistols here. There's just not a lot that they could do with them. No, they're getting naded as well. Which means that's their economy. Fanatic right now are just beasting them. But Cyber Focus once again showing that he is just so dangerous with the pistols up close at mid. Gets another kill and does some decent damage to Crims as well. But it will be a three on three situation. Bonic, the last man alive here, waiting in the boiler. And he's just biding his time, hoping that they will actually leave this angle open for him. They're going to attempt the crossfire. Markoloff draws the attention. And now Bonic peeks out, but Flusha was ready for it. Perfect read there by Flusha. And the nade on a Markoloff drops him down to 13 HP. Last man alive, but not for long. Fnatic will pick up the round. 9 3 the score now. Fnatic is completely running away with this terrorist side. Oh man, I mean, it's kind of hard to deal with. World Dead and Markov are supposed to be like two of the, the pretty good players now that Simple isn't here, but they have really, they're not hitting their shots right now. Four kills on one, two on the other, and moving into the 13th round, something big has to happen for uh, for Flipside to change this. I mean, they got to win the last three rounds, then they have to win the pistol on the second half and just pray that Fnatic are not feeling good on CT side. Essentially, I mean... World that it was a scout. They have to go for kind of buy and cyber focus once again. One for one trade though. Pronax was there to watch JW's back, so he's not going to be able to get away scot free. No big advantage gain for Flipside this time around, unfortunately for them. The Wolfmeister getting the smoke used up on balcony early. There's a single smoke left, and that's on World Edit. But he is current. Well, he's currently just kind of camping out on B. So it's all right that they leave that smoke there. But now the A side is vulnerable. And Fnatic going for a bit of the Fnatic play. Flash through mid, through that smoke. Blade gets returned, and again they're effectively trading one for one here. Oh my god, except Flusha getting a 180 off shot. That's gonna, that's gonna completely turn everything around here. Bondic will be able to spray down Flusha. He could potentially catch the last man as well. Pronax just barely makes it into the apartments. Yeah, I'm impressed Bondic even caught the fact that he was running that way. I mean, he obviously could hear him run, but that's still a pretty big uh, move to make right there. Well, that it can't stop the plant from going down. Bondic coming up from behind rather quickly. Pronax, I think now he hears it, and he's gonna get shot in the face. All of my stuff from behind. He had the knife out, but he's going to use the AK to take care of World Edit. Now the Molotov follow-up here. It's actually... Is it going to cover that bomb? Bondic is now walking out in front of it. And all of my stuff is just waiting patiently on the other side. It's going to be a quick peek then. Realizes that he's close and he's going to run for it. All of my stuff trying to stay alive. Grenade is out as well. And there is not going to be enough time, I think. He does not have a kit. He's going to have to run. Oh, no. It's just more heartbreaking situations when it comes down to these kind of clutch scenarios, Bondic. I mean, well, it's just Fnatic. They know how to play them perfectly. Olafmeister just went for one of those ticks that's really risky, though. He like, decides to peek before he's finished, like, swapping to his AK. So I'm just like, what happens if he's standing right in front of you, Olaf? Why do you do that, Olaf? Like, take the risk. Okay, fine. I mean, maybe you've got 10 rounds on T-side. But really, is that an excuse to start playing or start leaving openings for your opponents to take advantage of? No. Don't do it, Olaf. Yeah. Even if you even if you did just like play that marvelously and ran down the clock to the point where they couldn't actually win the round. So he did everything right. It's just that one thing I'm always I always cringe. I always like grit my teeth and be like, don't peek if you don't have your gun out. It is so risky, isn't it? We've seen tons of pros lose, you know, fights due to that. Bondic though finds the perfect place for that save DWP, so a lot of credit to him for uh, getting that entry frag. Really important. Switches it up, goes back to uh the other side of apartments and is now looking for an opening here but crimson pronax are both right there and he's got to be careful he's already down to 31 so a single shot here from an ak will almost take him down and there it is crims will quickly follow up on that one yeah, and they peaked together as well so there really was no hope picked up the one well that it having a bit of a battle over here on banana luckily for him he's got kevlar on or he probably wouldn't be with us anymore cyber focus wow 
thought that he would be able to get the flick onto, par onto Pronax there, but that just wasn't the case. JW point blank picks up the first. He's not going to get the second. He goes for the nice, but Flush is there to save him. <laughs> JW had a little bit of a little bit of a, a heartbeat moment there, like a heart attack. Oh man, that was really weird, wasn't it? But, uh, then I mean, it is JW. He does like those situations, just like no scopes him, no problem. He thrives in the situations. You're right. 11, uh, 11 to three, and I'm seeing bot cyber focus now being uh, spammed in the chat. I, d I don't know. It did look weird. I don't it know. did. You gotta wonder at that point if it's like all his attention and focus is on where. Because Crims was down at the corner, so maybe he just got the call. Look, he was down at the corner. I'm all focused on that. And then somehow he just, like, completely didn't register. There was a guy right in front of him. Cyberfocus did pick up the kill. So less of a bot now than maybe last round. And, um, I mean, we've seen them get good openings before Flipside. They, they've got to carry it through here. And that's a nice follow-up. The bomb down as well from Bondic, who's been playing well. Like, Bondic's been... Look at it. Dude, Bondic is the guy who's going toe-to-toe -to -toe right now with Fnatic. I mean, doing the best that he can. He's got 16 frags, whereas the rest of his teammates, they have not succeeded in passing the double digits yet. Flush is now going to be the only battle log in a 1v5, and it's fitting the bounding. Picks up the remaining two frags in that round, so that puts him up on three for the round, and, well, actually, that, that swaps us out, so. Oh, that means we're going to be back on the camera, boys. Um, okay, then. All right, well, we're going to obviously connect right back in, guys. Second half is coming up. Uh, Bondic just going super mad. He's got 18 kills. He's tied with the top frag on Fnatic in spite of them being like just a ridiculous number of rounds behind. So obviously that shouldn't be the case, right? He should be much lower, but uh, he did a really fine job here. All right. It's going to be 11 to 4. People are saying Supreme. Damn straight Supreme. Yo, Global next. Global <laughs> next. You know how I got Global similar? I was in. Uh, yeah, I was. You were, in, in, you were there with Dupree, weren't you? Making vacuum noises. It wasn't even that. I mean, that would have been that would have been even better. But it was just that I was in Supreme, and then um, and then the whole vac wave rolled through, which means uh, I just had to win one game, and I got up ranked to global. I was like, "Yep, what's up?" <laughs> <laughs> so now I've just stopped playing, and I'll just, I'll just keep that title forever now. JW trying to look over the smoke here. Nice little trick boosted up on the car, and see if he can see anyone. There are two people out there. They don't have the bomb anywhere though, so flip side engaged in a very slow round with four people here, top banana for Fnatic. And Cypher Focus is wrecking them, just taking them out one at a time. Pronax in the corner, but he's alone and Bondig is gonna check. He he lets Cypher Focus in for just keep running out. You know, you take the bait if uh, if they're gonna be there, and then Olaf Meister, last man standing in, Bondig will take him out. What a sick round from Flipside. Dude, what a sick pistol play from Cyber. This guy is like a monster once you put a pistol in his hands. He's he, like CT side, he constantly gets kills mid. And here, he just entries his way onto that B site, gets all three kills that allow for Flipside to actually pick up a round. So, well, that was fantastic. Now, do we actually get to see them keep this together here going into this next one? Because that's going to be the question. Fnatic, we saw what they did to them last time around, where uh, Flipside won the pistol and then got completely obliterated second round. Are they going to be able to do the same thing here? Can they keep it together and hold off the, the storm? Because Crims pushes down. He actually does quite a bit of damage to World Edit. That's going to drop him low. And they've already got a kill on JW. Oh, they've got to be so careful right now. Flash bang in. JW really wants it. Follow up flash. And he hunts down. But he can't get back. Crims. A bit of a bot there. Just standing in his way. All of my stalls will pick up Markolov. And it's down to Blade and Cypher Focus here. But I think JW would have been alive if Crims was like, no, nah, I want the kills as well. I'm really <laughs> you, man. You know what happened, though? Is because that was actually Crims' kill. Like, he did all the damage to World Edit. So he's like... JW, if you're going to come over here and take my kills, you're going to die. <laughs> Just blocks him out there. Oh, man. Kronax in the corner. Cypher Focus gets the kill, but he's still not going to check and ends up dropping. Now it's Kronax with a 5-7, and Blade comes jumping over the sandbags. He's still in a 1v2 with about 40 seconds left here. And picks up an AK and actually decides to make the run back, which right now seems like a smart choice. Yeah. Well, let me see. Um... Uh... He's going for the fake arena, though, because Flush is now back over on that B side. Problem is, Flush with the CZ up close, he can just let Blade walk up onto this bomb site and then spring on him because that smoke goes down. That pretty much gives it away. Blade has now got 17 seconds left to get this bomb plant. He has to check all the likely areas, and he's going to plant right in front of Flusha, who just draws this out. Flusha wins the fight, jumping CZ to the face, and Blade is gone. And it's and it, it, history repeats itself, Anders. Second round win for Fnatic, just yeah. like in the first half. 
there's almost no coming back from that. I mean, at that point, you're you're really in a lot of trouble if you if you sort of you know repeat that sequence there. By the way, in terms of blocking people, one of the funniest things to do if, if you've got a friend who's like orping by the by the car here, mm -hmm. and he just straight goes into the corner with the orp, and he's like you know hardcore orping this corner. Just go and stand right next to him, because then when he <laughs> when when they shoot at him and he tries to get out, he can't, and he has to jump up on the car, and it's really funny. You're a horrible person, bro. <laughs> Yeah, you are the kind of person that makes me break keyboards. Like, <laughs> it is so much fun. Definitely try it. Don't forget to record it either. It is gonna be 12 health left on Markolov and Flusher in the middle, just challenging you with the C set 75 and getting kills with it as well. Obviously, no armor or anything here on flip side. They are just out of money completely here. 13 to five, moving in to the fourth round of the second half here. And flip side, they have to force. They know that time is out. Yeah, uh, this is it. But it's going to be full Goliels as well for them. They know that they don't have any room for air. They do want to get some nades, though. That's why they aren't kind of jumping up. Although, I don't even think any of them could have afforded Kevlar Helmet plus AK. And that's, yeah, none of them. 50 yeah. bucks short on World Edit. He was the closest one to it. So, or on Cyber Focus, rather. So, full Goliels, a handful of nades, a scattering. And now it's going to be Frodax with the MP7. And he runs out of bullets, or he would, probably would have got that other kill there. It seems likely. Ooh, actually... All have taken a little bit of damage then, but Crims is up here trying to get the jump on over, and I guess they get there. They're going to put up another smoke. Leaf, all of them are close with the Mag 10 in hand. And in the middle, JW is looking for some sort of opening. Is he going to find someone to fight with? Got to be careful because Blade is close by. Fall back a little bit further. I mean, it seems like Flipside have made Fnatic pause for a moment in this round and just take a breathe, but when are they going to recommit? Is Crim's gonna flash him in? No, JW just walks past completely blind through the smoke, but did get a kill on Cyber Focus anyway. Blade was there in the corner to pick one up. Now the bomb is being picked up here. They're a man up still, flip sign. They managed to hold on to the lead throughout this whole round. Think about how lucky Blade was right there as well. One bullet from JW would have done the trick. He could have actually got a two for one. So JW coming real close to bringing it back for his team there with that risky play pushing through smoke. Pretty much like the only guy who will do that along with Happy. But now flip side, they're wrapping around through apartments, and Crims who's holding in mid, not in the best position. He's going to be able to hear them jump down onto short, and obviously could potentially try and rotate around to pick up uh, pick up the kill. But there's going to be a man in boiler, and he's currently waiting for him right now. Crims in position. Does he actually crack on? No, he does not. Blade with the instant headshot. That does the trick. And now Fnatic, they're down to Olaf Meister. Last man alive here for the CT side, going into a 1v3 retake on A. He's probably just going to get in here to see if he can't get some damage done at this point. Yeah, I mean, it's hard for him to try and win around like this without any grenades or... Well, there's a defuse kit he can pick up there. And an M4, so now it's actually much more worth it for him to just save what he's got here. Just uh, stealing what he can as he's trying to make his way out. Blade is right up there, and he's going to miss him by just a pixel. Wow, that's so close. Yeah. Well, they're both going to walk away from it. Oh, that was really nicely done. I mean, basically just good defense and good patience by... um. Flip side at that point, managing to deal with the aggro mid early on, uh, managing to, uh, to to keep things alive and make sure that JW didn't do too much damage with his random push through smoke. Blade, I mean, yeah, Blade was basically the man to save it there, man, yeah. like limiting that damage to just a single man down. So it was a one for one trade, which kept the advantage for flip side. And then flip side just making use of every second, slow playing it all the way onto that A site. So really nicely done there by flip side. Six rounds on the board for them versus Fnatic's 13, and we will have the force buy out of Fnatic. Still can't believe that flip side are essentially nine rounds behind, and yet the top fragger in this game is Bondic at 21 kills. Like, that is really sick, isn't it? Yeah, he's a monster right now. Yeah, you've just lost so many rounds, and still you somehow managed to come out on top. Crims going to be forced back quickly, but they did take a lot of damage just for getting top banana there. You can sell while well, Markolov dies over in apartments. This is just not Markolov's game, is it? Like, we've been playing, what, 20 rounds, and he's got two kills. Yeah, that's not... Uh... You get a kill every 10th round, you know you know that things aren't looking too hot. And it's looking like it's going to be some really good for the B site. So, let's Trying see if they can actually manage it. Double kill coming into Crims right now. Crossfire set up, trying to run through that smoke, and it's not working for the flip side at all. And World Edit getting caught out on the cart isn't going to help. Crims with a third kill. JW will get picked off by Bondic, but now Bondic, 1v3. Last man alive, gets headshot at mid, and Flusher will clean him up. It is going to be 14 rounds on the board now for Fnatic. And this... This feels like Fnatic are still in, a, in in this mindset of just going through the motions. Like, they're, they're kind of just picking up flip side at will. Yeah, I mean, there's not much else to really say. Bondic's been playing super well. Cyberfocus and Blade have tried their best. But 
Right now, they're like, they're almost playing 3v5 at the moment. And it's not like anyone of Fnatic is really doing badly. Although JW and Flush have had a good time. I would take a screenshot, guys, but Semler's F5 key isn't actually bound to a screenshot. It's F11. So. F11. It's F11. You hear it? No? No. We'll That's figure it out, guys. We'll job. figure out how to be able to do the screenshots, because that was another good moment there. JW does not actually get that shot on through, and he gets oh the no-scope through the top of the box there. Unreal. Classic JW style. Scoping doesn't work, it's like unscoped. It's gonna get that kill on Bondic as well. Misses the one on Blade, but Pronax won't. It's gonna be 15 to 6. It's a match and map point here for Fnatic. It's a best of one game on Inferno, and they have destroyed Flipside. This, yeah, just flat out. I mean, f uh, yeah, there's not. They, to the point where, like, JW, where, where, like, Fnatic, they don't even care. They're just, like, running into mid taking these fights. They could they could choose to play it safe. They could give up mid control. They could, you know, get that early pick and then back off. But they're just actually running in there and just looking to bully the flip side at this point. Looking to take those fights mid. And they and even when they should supposed to be at a bit of a disadvantage, they still come out ahead. And nobody highlights that more than, like, JW, basically. Peeks into a bedroom, gets shot in the face. Okay, actually, I'll go for a peek in the T, t parties too. Yeah, Why I'll, not? I'll just keep going and won't find the kill, but it was damn close. Blade is already gone as well, so they got to be really careful here. Crims to take out World Edit, and now if Bondic tries to make this jump up, well, they would have been ready for him anyway. Flusher wants to go down the middle. Fnatic want to end this, and a quick flick to take down Bondic. And Markolov in the middle. Is he going to get another kill? You won't. Stuck on two for the whole round here, and uh, for the whole game pretty much. Cyber focus, last man standing, 1v5. Gets a shot in on Crims. It's going to be going down to Pronax. 16 to 6. And victory for Fnatic. Wow. That's hard to deal.